large crowd gathered near the banks of the Susquehanna River in July of 1966 to witness the groundbreaking for an amazing new structure. Governor William Scranton joined state and local officials and leaders of industry in the ceremonial turning of the soil. The result will be the largest collapsible type dam in the United States, plus a recreational pool of more than 3,000 acres in size extending upstream along both the north and the west branches of the Susquehanna. The dam was to be built from plastic at a cost of more than one million dollars. It would provide a summertime recreation area for fishermen and boating enthusiasts and a fall hunting ground for fowlers. Governor Scranton said it was sure to create interest from people elsewhere in need of similar attractions. And the success of new, new Fabra Dam, they just might find the answer. The governor had words of comfort for those who feared the dam could create flood problems for Sunbury. He told them the design allowed the dam to be deflated to allow heavy waters to continue downriver each spring. Within three years, the people of Sunbury were able to see for themselves whether the predictions were true. The dam was dedicated on the 4th of July in 1969 and ushered in a new era for recreation in the Northumberland County area. I'm Jack Scanella with your Friday flashback.